Okay, so what I have here is the HD Home Run dual tuner, okay? Uh, this light right here means it's powered on, and these two lights here actually mean that I'm using both tuners at the same time. So as you can see here, I have my two coax, I have my Ethernet cable, which is right here in the middle, um, right here, and then I have my power. All right, so this is the cable that's feeding uh, to the HD Home Run. And what I have here is a remote control. This uh, device here is not capable of um, transmitting the signals that I'm sending this device to the uh, Elgato ITV uh, 3.0 software. So as you can see here, um, I have the remote right in front. And when I click on it or anything whatsoever, nothing changes. Now this remote control here is designed to work with this software, the ITV software. And so now what I have here is an actual uh, ITV 250 Plus. And this is the hardware um, that will also allow me to um, convert um, uh, the resources of video, but instead of using the power of the computer, it'll use this um, little hardware box here to handle all that um, uh, converting so I you know can use my computer for normal activities without experiencing any wear and tear if you will anyway so uh, this remote here is to work directly with this guy because it has an IR receiver built to work with this remote so what happens here is when I plug in the 250 plus okay I now can change channels very easily. So you see what's happening here? I'm remotely changing channels. No problems whatsoever. Now, what's happened is that although this is plugged in to the computer, okay, this is actually not receiving any signal whatsoever. This is the coax, and there's, so there's no content being fed. The only purpose of this thing that I need right now is to use it for the remote control so it can change the channels uh, being fed from here to the software. So what I need, okay, is instead of spending $200 for a simple IR receiver, um, I would rather buy maybe a $50 IR receiver, okay, so that I can use with this remote control. Because what I've done, okay, is I've programmed my universal remote control to listen to um, uh, to listen to these inputs here, these inputs I programmed into uh, this remote. So I don't, I no longer need this remote control. I now have my giant size remote control here that powers all of my equipment. So what does that mean? That means now when I click any of my buttons here, watch, see what's happening here. I'm using my remote control, and I can change the channels just as easy as I could with the. Um, with this remote. So all I need here, what I need this remote for is basically to map um, the uh, signals to this guy. But ultimately, what I'm truly trying to get is a simple down-to-earth IR receiver that I can just plug in, okay, into my Mac right here, which will communicate to this software. Uh, because this guy right here does not allow for any third-party remotes to control this software. So that's my problem. I need a IR, an infrared receiver, okay, that's compatible with this remote, which powers this guy right here.